The number one common mistake that we find with candidates is that they end up talking too much in the interview. That's the number one piece of feedback we receive from clients. And what I think candidates try to do if they have an hour interview, they try to talk as quickly and, um, and as robustly as they can so they can get as much information out in a period of time. But frankly, that does not work. It's a turn off. Clients, frankly, tend to tune out. So the key is being clear, succinct, and speaking in paragraphs rather than chapters. Mistakes that candidates often make during the interview process, um, I would break down into three simple areas. One being body language and presentation. So in other words, make sure to have great eye contact, good posture, be engaged in the conversation, and have a good energy level. And most importantly, dress appropriately. Uh, the second area where people get into trouble is displaying a lack of interest. Um, make sure you arrive early. Don't leave your phone on the table or even glance at it during the interview process. Um, and make sure to ask good questions. The third area where people often get into trouble is the question of why you are interested in the opportunity. Make sure to have a thoughtful answer, um, demonstrating your attraction to the company and why it's a fit. Uh, not because it's close to your house, it's better compensation, or I need a job. I think one of the more common interview mistakes I see is when a candidate doesn't ask good questions. I think an organization is always impressed when they see a candidate who's taken the time to do some research on their organization and really asks a good specific question, whether that's about an organization's culture, its challenges, its business objectives, whatever it may be, something that's thoughtful, Something that, that shows that you've taken the time to learn a little bit about the company does usually leave a very strong impression. If you don't ask questions, if you ask questions that are fairly generic, I don't think it makes the same impression. So do your research, ask good questions, and you'll see a result. To effectively interview, it's critical that the candidate has researched and has a reasonable understanding of the client's business. Significant information can be gleaned online regarding both the strategy of the company as well as the financial health of the organization. And finally, passion. Uh, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, a client clearly wants to get the sense that you are passionate about your career, that you are engaged in your position, that you want this position at hand and are interested in this company. Um, again, a great way to convey that is to have in mind some projects in which you've worked where you've been incredibly engaged to be able to talk through those and it's very probable your passion will just simply show through to the client.